but hats really throw a uh, kink in our chain. For as long as CT has been open, the school has held a strict policy on hats and other headgear. This has led to questions and frustrations as to why students are not able to wear hats or head accessories. This topic has been magnified as Cherokee Trail is the only high school in the Cherokee School District with such a hat policy. So I'm uh, Neil Finch. I am a Dean of Students here in the building. And this semester I'm in charge of alphabet A through K and attendance. So in our COVID world, if we have a mask on and some kids still wear their mask and then you throw a hat on top of that element and then something goes down and we need to figure out who and who and what is happening and why things went down, see how this makes a big problem for us? So we wear hats or we, we have a hat policy not because we don't like hats. We love the hats, right? We even have CT hats that are made for our building. But Safety-wise, it is hard to identify who's who and if they belong here. So that is the primary focus of our hat rule and our beanie rule and our hood rule. Um, I think the hat policy here is a little unnecessary. I know Grandview doesn't require hats, and I, I feel like sometimes it, it, there's just no point for it. And I feel like, I don't know, it could be a little better with hats. I think it might have been a little bit of a security issue. I think especially during, during COVID where you could wear a hat and a mask and people really couldn't tell who you were. Um, but I think now that we're emerging out of that time, I think... Um, Hats serve more as a way for people to express themselves and, and have a little more freedom for what they're wearing and how they choose to portray themselves. I think it's kind of like, I think it's dumb because Grandview can wear hats, but we can't. And I feel like other schools in our district can wear hats, but our school's the only one that enforces it, so. They want us to wear masks, win the hat. Come on, we can't, you can't see the face with the mask. So what's the point of, why can't we wear a hat? As long as you're in the building, you should not have any kind of headwear. It's logical in every sense, like as far as the safety aspect, that there's no, there's no downfall to it. Other schools allow hats. We just so happen to be a school that does not. The decision to place safety above the luxury of wearing hats and other headgear is a decision that seems likely to stay in place. This has been Tanner Ruggerberg signing off.